Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony. Welcome to another video. Now, this is a little bit different from what I usually do, but last week, no, actually more than a week ago, I went to Universal to celebrate uh, my brother's birthday because we had no idea what we were going to do and we had no idea what to expect from Universal's you know, uh, protocols and different things like that. So I'm going to basically show you what you could expect if you're heading to Universal or, you know, you're thinking about going to Universal uh, for a vacation or something like that. Now, if you're out of state, it may not be the 100% the best idea as far as, you know, hotels and things like that. You may want to do some other things. I live in Florida. I only live like two and a half hours from Universal. So it was a car ride there, car ride back, you know, all safe and things like that. But masks are mandatory. That's the rule. Masks are mandatory. They also have hand sanitizer at the beginning of every single ride. Not show, but every single ride you have to um, put hand sanitizers on. There are no lines. That's what you can expect. The longest that we had to wait was like 10 minutes. Honestly, walking up to the ride takes longer than the actual ride itself. And when you're in line, they have social distance squares. And uh, the squares are kind of an interesting dynamic because sometimes you don't realize when the other people go. It's a little bit awkward. In, uh, and, you know, these squares are like 30 feet apart. You have your cluster group of friends that, you know, you're trying to s s limit the spread. That's the idea with this. So if it's, if it's in, between, in between your friends, great. If it's not, you know, it's kind of bad, I guess. But yeah, so overall, you should expect to be safe. Now, if I'm an elderly person, I'm probably not going to Universal in these times. I'm probably staying indoors, trying to keep to myself. That's just me. But if you're young, I, it could be an interesting time. It's a little bit quiet, not really eventful. Uh, but yeah, I think that everyone was keeping their distance. Everyone was staying safe. There's no people complaining about the masks. It was. Uh, it felt kind of eerie and quiet. That's what I would kind of say. We went on the Shrek ride. And uh, when you're in a studio, they separate you in groups. They have at least three seats apart from each group. Again, you're not waiting long for these shows. Um, you know, you have to wait for the show to start. Obviously, that's the longest you're going to wait. But yeah, the shows were decent. I mean, I've been to Universal six, seven times, so I kind of know what to expect from the from this place. Um, they have some new things that they've added over the past couple years, which was fun. If you are going, Jason Bourne, the Action Life stunt show, was absolutely a thrill. I don't know how to say it like that, but... Um, yeah, it, it was pretty good. They also had these weird soda machines. Like, do you socially distance that much? I mean, do you have to have one vending machine not work? A lot of it was kind of, like, ridiculous. I have some other things that uh, I thought were kind of ridiculous on the screen. I didn't really understand some of them. Uh, I didn't like the hand sanitizer because every single ride, like, it, it kind of felt weird on your hands. Like, I don't want that on my hands every single time. And, yeah, that's um, that's the majority of my opinions about it. Overall, it was a pretty good day. Uh, at the at the park, you're, uh, you know, I, I try to record a lot of things. Obviously, I can't record on Rip Ride Rocket because, you know, they one, they don't allow your phone. It's like a weird system with your phone. My brother and I took like 15 minutes to figure out how the phone system worked. It was kind of stupid. Uh, and, you know, I try to keep to myself. I don't want to record people. That's kind of weird. And uh, if you get to ride every single ride that you want to, that's the key. Like, if you want to do every single ride, that's great. Um, there are protocols as far as when you get in. Uh, they try to keep everyone socially distant as possible. They try to keep everyone safe. Um, if you're uncomfortable, you can always seek out an employee, something like that. But if you're going to the steam park, you kind of have a little bit of expectations that you're going to be around people. And uh, it rains at the end of the day. So <laughs> uh, if you're expecting, uh, you know, it's Florida, so it's going to rain. So be prepared if it does rain for an umbrella. And uh, people congregate, you know, there's limited spots of shade. People congregate when it rains. So that's an issue there. One time the guy told us at one place and he's like, no, 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 move that place. And it took us like a minute or two to sit down where we needed to. Cause I think it was like the employees being, uh, being weird like that. I used to like mummy, but I don't really like it that much anymore. I thought like, I thought it was like a throw line. I'm like, oh wait, not. I'm really, I really like the minion thing. Um, there's some rides like shake me up. I'm not good as, as I was before with all like the movement and motion and things like that. I'm like, am I getting old? But, uh, the last thing I'll mention is they had this live show where everyone's like spaced out apart on bleachers and, uh, it was overall like good show. And, you know, when people are sitting next to me, like right, right next to me in uh, like a couple years, maybe if it gets to that point, I'm like, this is going to be kind of weird. I'm like, I kind of enjoyed everyone being spacious. The guy was pointing out everywhere to go. It seemed fun. It just wasn't overly eventful it's not like there's like a party and everybody like that but that's not really what amusement parks are there's not everyone like partying and dancing and uh they they did enough to make the experience enjoyable i definitely would recommend doing it i think it's safe i don't think that they're negligent people may be scared like oh florida are they really that safe i think so i think everyone is taking it seriously people are wearing masks there's no people that are like throwing their masks down and like sneezing into people's faces but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video 
Uh, let me know whether you plan on going to Universal and your favorite Universal ride. I didn't go to Islands of Adventure, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same as that. And I'm not too sure of disease protocols. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.